All right, let's dive in. I'm gonna go over the exterior and then jump into, into the interior and uh, try to uncover every nook and cranny that torch has to offer, which they are plenty. All right, let's go. From the outside, um, a couple key elements here. On the side, we have our water bottle pocket. It has a little magnetic um, feature that will keep the pocket closed when it's not in use to keep it flush against the pack. Enter our bottle. It's good for any backpack really, but it's a special design for, for ours. All right, moving over to this side. Here at the bottom, we have the key ring pocket. This has an elastic uh, and a clamp at the end. Classic for when you're getting home without free hands. This is a lifesaver because you can just, you can open the key ring pocket while worn and just take off your keys, open the door and leave them hanging and you don't need to, to take up more free hands for that. Moving up, we have the foam pocket. All right, moving on to the top. We have a concealed pocket here. Here we have our helmet holder. Once you unroll this, I recommend you put your, your helmet's uh, tall side up. So that's the rear up. And then you hook it up. All right. Once it's nice and snug, helmet's not going anywhere. All right. Now onto the rest. We have a side handle here that is hidden, tucked away in here. And the back, as you are seeing, is very well padded with a, an air channel designed top to bottom to make sure your back stays cool and air flows between the back, the backpack and your, your back. Uh, up front, we have the magnetic, magnetic chest strap that is both adjustable and removable. If you don't use it, you can just take it out from the guide. There you go. And the rail is unseen. And down here we have the straps for the waist belt. These are attached here and here. Uh, the right hand has a little pocket. Again, removable if not gonna use them. Moving on to the Interior, I'm going to start with my favorite part, the tech compartment. This is a 180 degrees clamshell opening dedicated tech space. We have a dual laptop sleeve here uh, meant for like a laptop and a notebook or a tablet or a notepad, something smaller. Both magnetically closed, magnetically latched, so that they don't go shooting outwards. On the other side, we have a removable tech pouch. This, this will hold chargers, cables, pens, small stuff tech related that you want to have in handy. Oh, while this is off, in here we have a pretty big hidden pocket as well. This is good for valuables and that kind of stuff because it's like a couple layers in. And also if the tech pouch is on, the pocket is almost invisible. Beneath that we have two mesh pockets. Again, power banks, mouse, that kind of stuff may be bulkier. And that's the, the tech of part. One of the things I like the most about it, about the tech pouch specifically, is that you can unload anywhere, open up the top, just the top, and access your laptop and your laptop stuff without opening and doing the whole display. Uh, and just, just have the, your, your most basic tech elements handy without doing the whole, the whole thing. Now onto the front, we have a sunglass uh, compartment. This is lined in soft fabric so that it doesn't scratch your, your glasses. Uh, and then moving into the main compartment, we'll see um, a small pocket here, 
with a little nice message and um, and of course the rest of the main volume which you can open up quite significantly to expose the entire interior now this is important the main compartment and the tech compartment share some space you can let me try and show it to you i'm pushing against the back here against the front you can choose to fill up the tech compartment and make the main compartment smaller if your load is more tech oriented or you can do the opposite and you can push this back compress the tech compartment and use the extra room for clothes and, and stuff this is meant for giving you guys the ability to personalize the way the, the, the backpack behaves depending on which kind of use you're giving it if it's uh, if you're going away for the weekend this might be more clothing heavy than usual if you're going on a work trip or you're just moving around town looking for some coffee shops to work at then it's probably going to be more tech heavy and this gives you the ability to go back or rear prioritizing one compartment or the other what else what else what else this here is a pretty much a hidden pocket quite large as well um, also handy um, up here in the front and of course we have the wet and dirty this this is about three four liters worth of collapsible storage i use this for dirty clothes um, after workout or uh, packed lunch or stuff you don't want mixed with the main compartment all right finally the light there's a little pull tab here to expose uh, either end of the, of the dummy cap you guys have in here. One cool detail that we did. So we played with the polarity of the magnets. This happens with the light as well. So that if you want to put this the wrong way, the magnets just won't let you. See this? See how this just... Whereas the right way goes in automatically. Again, same happens with the light. If you try to put it in the wrong way, it goes out. And the right way, automatic. All right, so you press and hold to turn it on. It's gonna give you a battery reading. This one's full. And then you can either go front or rear again. This is dependent on orientation. Now, once I leave, once I leave the light for five seconds in a given mode, it'll lock up, meaning it'll stay in that mode until I turn it off and then, then it resets. But this is gonna be a rear light for this backpack. So I left it in rear mode. It's not, it's not gonna switch any longer because I waited for five seconds and now I can put it in, in the backpack. Now this light, of course, is compatible with our navigation remote and our Faro smart helmet. All right, the nav remote has its own dock. It's, it has two parts. You twist it counterclockwise to release it from its dock. This here is the dock. This lives on the handlebar. It has a little rubber band to keep it tight and a rubber pad to keep it in mobile, and fixed. Once you do this, by the way, you do it once and it just stays on your handlebar forever while you remove the remote for charging. Once removed from its dock, you can expose the charging port in here. This is a USB type C. And again, clockwise rotation. There's a little reading there that says which side is front. And when you're riding, always have the logo facing you. That's, you're gonna know that the, the remote the right way. This here is our helmet. Let me bring in the lights. And I'm gonna shoot a couple turn signals. Both of these animations are customizable via the app. This you're seeing here is a half sweep, which goes from the center to the edge. We have a full sweep, we have a blinker, we have a couple uh, for you to try. 
Wow, that, there you go. That is the Torch ecosystem, guys. I, I hope you get the most out of it. I've been using this, or iterations of this, for the past eight months now, and I love it. It's my everyday backpack, be it I'm, I'm, I'm on the bike, I'm traveling for the weekend, I've taken it everywhere. It's durable, it's waterproof. All the zippers are waterproof, by the way. Not sure I covered that. Um, and it's it's got it's protected my stuff against harsh rain a number of times already. This was Torch. I hope you guys enjoy. We're really, really happy about the product. See you on the next one.